Hey, Buddha! Let's play a game! Oh, Duel. Sure. Oh, wait! Aha, uh -huh, kill it! Huh? Way to go! I'm going home now. Why so early? We can't stop now! My wrist hurt. I can't do it anymore. Come on, suck it up! Men should be tough, you know? Look, I can hardly see and I feel like I'm gonna throw up. See you later, man. Wait till I finish two more rounds! Weird! What's wrong? Mwahaha! <laughs> you have caught a serious illness! I am the VDT syndrome, which affects children who have absorbed electromagnetic waves by the overuse of the internet. What? The VDT syndrome? Hi, are you threatening children? Stop it! Threatening? No way! I'm just telling the truth. Oh, you're hopeless. What? Nettie? Pi? What is the VDT syndrome? The VDT syndrome is a muscular skeletal disorder caused by spending much time watching TV, playing video games, and using the computer. <laughs> Do you feel dizzy? Are your eyes tired? Do your wrists and lower back hurt? Your muscles will contract, and you will suffer from muscle spasms or spinal disorders. Huh? Oh, no! You are out! Ah! If you neglect muscular problems in your wrists, neck, shoulder, or lower back, your muscles will contract, and you will have muscle spasms or spinal problems. But if you develop good, healthy habits in adolescence, you will never have to worry about it. Let me show you how to exercise so you can prevent or recover from VDT syndrome. Follow me. First, this eye exercise gives your eyes a much needed break. Press your temple with your fingertips and make a circle. This will help your tired eyes to relax and be refreshed. Let me tell you how to maintain healthy eyes. First, position your eyes 15 to 20 centimeters higher than the center of the monitor. Second, your monitor should be tilted back at a 15 degree angle. Third, place your monitor more than 40 centimeters from your eyes. Fourth, occasionally take a break and focus on something farther away while you're working. Fifth, always brighten your computer area. Now let's try a scalp exercise that relieves tension in your head. Massage your scalp with your fingertips. The third exercise is a neck exercise that helps relax the muscles of your neck. Place your hands on the left side of your head and pull your head gently toward your shoulder. Do the same thing on the right side. Sit up straight, fold your hands, place them behind your head and pull your head gently downward. Put your crossed hands under your neck and slowly drop your head back. Grab the back of your neck where your spine is and massage. This will relax your tightened, tense neck muscles. The fourth exercise is a shoulder exercise that helps stretch hunched shoulders. Push both your child's shoulders back with your hands. Their improper posture will be corrected and they will be able to maintain straight posture. It is better to press shoulder muscles with your elbows. 
The fifth is a wrist exercise that helps heal wrist pain. Raise your arms straight in front of you and bend your wrists up and down. Circle your wrist in both directions. Repeat frequently. Be sure to keep your hands straight for a better effect. Clench your fists tight and unfold your fingers. The sixth is a lower back exercise that helps stretch your lower back. Sitting in a chair, hold the armrests and lift up your upper body. Do not put weight on your legs. Sitting in an upright position, hold your knee with both hands and pull your knees slowly towards your chest. Take turns on the left and right side. Easy, right? Practice these exercises twice a day, then you can enjoy the internet healthily and happily. I feel a lot better now. Yeah, me too. Are you concerned about how engrossed your children are with a computer? Why don't you give them a back massage instead of yelling at them? It will have a powerful effect that will allow them to change their attitude and behavior, and you can check out their health as well.